So welcome back guys, it's the Master Yet here. And we're just continuing through Ashen Vale really. If you watched the last episode you'll know that I've been uh, ranting a lot about Blizzard and just general shit that they do. But um try to stop the rant unless you people like actually really want to listen to it because I can I can rant for days. I can rant for days. But um no, I was kind of explaining in the last episode if you'd watched it or if it... Oh shit. Move the glaive. Fucked up Mr. Bat. Oh come on. Oh there we go. Be slow process. But um no, I was kind of just ranting at why I stopped heroic and mythic raiding and how it didn't really provide me with enough dopamine I guess to uh continue the grind from the rewards. Oh, got him. One more. No, we've got a lot more to go. Fuck. Dead sucker. Oh. Is that a miss? Yeah. Of course it's in a miss. Of course. It'd really suck if Warcraft had real good hit detection boxes doing this though. Because at the moment it's kind of like, yeah, why don't you hit it? Hit me in a splash damage radius, so yeah, we'll take that. Can I, uh. No. Grab that one. Don't know what the fuck that is. Lord Malagar? Not sure. I'm gonna stay away from him for now though. Jump at that. Probably set my half stone as well. Why is move? Yep. But I'm hoping I'm hoping that Battle for Azor off. I, I feel like it's either gonna kind of flop or it's gonna do really well. I think Legion, a lot of people like Legion. I personally didn't. Um I thought it was alright, don't get me wrong, I don't think it was anywhere near as good as Wrath though. Um we got some legs and I yeah, but So it was a bit of a shame and it's the same kind of thing with the leg legacy servers. Um I know a lot of people are kinda of like for vanilla Warcraft, but at the same time I'd now kind of debate what constitute as vanilla Warcraft. Um in the sense of I was like I started playing at the end of PC and I personally wouldn't want to play vanilla. Um I probably will end up playing it. I'll probably end up doing a whole leveling series of it if they actually ever bring it out. That's another thing. But <clears throat> sorry. But um uh, my point is that I feel that they're gonna they've kind of said that they're gonna release this uh vanilla server. And I feel it's gonna be in a kind of way to spite people because I really don't think vanilla Warcraft is gonna be all that much fun. In the sense of when you see where it's advanced to and all that kind of stuff. I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near as fun as people kind of remember it to be. Um, oh really? Oh, uh, fucking totem, fuck you man. So, I, I think they should have done a uh, kind of RAF server if you ask me, because <clears throat> like I was kind of saying in my earlier episodes, the um, quest helper wasn't a thing. Obviously if you played in vanilla you'd know this. The quest helper wasn't a thing back in vanilla, and they kind of only actually introduced quest helper in Wrath, if I'm right. Um, <clears throat> and that was mainly because there was already an add-on called quest helper that um, everyone was using anyway, so they just kind of implemented it into the game. 
But at the same time, RAF had a lot of stuff that they were initially testing, if you like, that was really good. Like, um, the looking for group finder. So I actually remember when looking for group finder went live. And I'd um, leveled up to kind of like 70, I must have been like 76. And then I just kind of like curb stomped my way through to 80. I actually dinged it out of Rat Valley, but um, it really kind of added that as aspect of being able to find a group. And like, wow, yeah, really just being able to find a group. I know in vanilla you can find a group, but it's so much more time kind of being able to instantly teleport to the dungeon as well instead of having to run all the way to the fucking dungeon or get summoned so i feel like they're kind of bringing back vanilla wow because some people might have really liked vanilla and i i wouldn't know because i never played it but at the same time i get the feeling that it's gonna go down like a shitstorm because no one's gonna want to put in so much time whereas at the moment you don't really have to put in any time at all um like i said because you can just buy your way through whatever you want really if i particularly wanted to do something crazy i could probably do something crazy but um back in raf i think raf was a real nice balance of everything really to be honest with you still had to like farm obviously with all your boa boa was a thing but you also had to like on that boa it wasn't like you could just go ahead and oh guess what drop some gold and get the boa no you'd have to like actually run dungeons get your tokens and hurt the tokens it wasn't as easy as it is now because now it's all about just gold really at the end of the day and i've kind of like explained this already but <clears throat> if i dropped a hundred pound on tokens i could probably like Probably, if you're a casual, I could probably definitely become a lot more geared than you are. Just from buying my way. Whereas it, it really shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't really look at someone and be like, oh shit, they're like fully fucking heroic geared. I bet they kick a lot of ass. And then them for turn around and then actually be um, full of like just shit. Do you know what I mean? Like they did like no idea. Let's just fuck this dude up if we can. They're gonna silence me, I imagine, pretty soon. I think he's got Shadow Mend. Like it scream. Oh no, bitch. Oh no. Oh what? Oh no, it's on cooldown. This is gonna be long. Maybe I shouldn't have started this, guys. Nah, uh, got fucked up. Shadow Priest fucked me up, guys. What I should have done is uh, not bothered him, really. But um, we'll give him that. We'll give him that. Life, uh, life tips for me. I fucked up the Shadow Men, really. Silence the Shadow Men. But um, no, what, what they should have really done is kind of... Well, gold. I think gold is the biggest issue. As soon as they bought out the WoW tokens, it kind of fucked the whole system up. Because, like, a prime example of this is back in... What? Uh, cat, ugh, fucking Wrath. This was the most expensive mount you could buy for 20k. Now it's like 2 mil. That kind of just shows the, like, influx of gold but they bought it upon themselves because they made it like 17 quid to get 250k like half the fucking players on warcraft probably had never even seen 250k gold and now they can just get it for free well not for free but for 17 quid but at the same time if you've got a job um like a well-paid job and you're kind of even getting like 17 well like say say like just above average, so you're getting like fourteen pound an hour or whatever. Um, two hours work, you're going to get two hundred and fifty k, which would have been like two hours in Warcraft. Like, yeah, sure, if you were like a master flipper or whatever, you could probably make two hundred and fifty k. Or if even you sold Mythic raids and 
heroic runs and uh, mythic pluses would probably make that money in an hour but at the same time most people wouldn't be able to make 250k in two hours unless you obviously buy it but now they've kind of brought that in like and i know what i'm gonna do if i like this is all presuming that i had a job but um if i wanted a real cool kind of mount or whatever i'd definitely kind of be more inclined to just put some more money into it than bother spending hours and hours farming shit because when i finished work i got paid a fair amount for um the last thing I'd want to be doing is coming back really and doing more work, in a way. But I don't know. I don't know. This is obviously just my opinion on it, so don't take it to heart. I think QQ in the forums, but um, I think they really fucked it with the money, and they kind of should have learned from Diablo 3. But I quite like Diablo 3's auction house system, because you could actually buy gear with money, and um, it wasn't like the sake of buying a universal currency with money it wasn't like you're exchanging money it was like you were exchanging well you could exchange money as well but it was more that you were exchanging money for items rather than exchanging money for currency in a sense so i don't know though i don't know i think they could have done it i i would like if they bought back a raf server i would solo Solely play on that server. I wouldn't even bother with any other current expansions or anything. I'd just play the RAF server personally, and I do actually play a private server as well. Um, not all too much actually, um, but I probably shouldn't say on YouTube really, but it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, private servers I feel aren't the way to go because obviously I lose all my shit. Uh, I don't want to lose all my mounts that I've spent like the last eight years farming up. Um, but at the same time, I'm also not really all that interested in playing a game and putting time into a game and becoming good at that game and then getting all my shit replaced um, by looking for retards. I mean, sorry, looking for raid. So that's my kind of argument to it. I think they've dulled it. Well, like people are kind of saying that it's too easy. Warcraft's too easy. And it... it Really, it is pretty easy, really, when you think about it, because all you've got to do is have money to win this game. That's the thing, like, it doesn't matter if you're... Well, you don't really need money, you need gold. But now that you can get gold for money, it doesn't matter. You can just face roll your way to, like, the highest prestige or whatever, like, not prestige, but, like, you can get yourself up there by just sinking gold into your character which I, I for a RPG I feel like that is the most retarded way to advance your character is to have more gold than someone else thus enabling you to get carries buy carries buy boosts buy everything that you really want but an RPG should be about the character surely and the creation around the character and how hard that character's what characters that uh, what bosses that character's killed and all that kind of shit so by them making it pay to win and i know people in them be like ah it's not pay to win but it is fucking pay to win you don't have to be a fucking complete genius to figure out that if you can still buy gold with tokens and tokens cost money and then you can buy stuff in game with the gold then it is pay to win because it is pay to win i could drop 200k and complete the final boss of this expansion on heroic and get all the titles and all the rewards unless there's exclusive mounts but there normally is an exclusive mounts for killing the boss um but someone that had been playing this game playing this expansion for ages should have and that sh that should be their bragging right in a way but the bragging rights taken away because of the gold so it's one of those so it's, it's a hard one really what's what's up with this dude okay i'm gonna leave him alone stop stop fucking herbalizing you whatever i'm doing gathering my herbs up 
So yeah, they, uh, this episode, they've all been quite ranty. I'm actually going to stay until I ding, because I'm going to get to 30, and then probably call it a day. I've got some new work to be getting on with. But yeah, I feel that Blizzard just made it not even too easy, because it's, it's not the factor of being too easy. They just made their progression really retardedly, and I feel like you should have to, even if you join an expansion late, should have to still do the original raids that everyone was doing at launch well not launch but within the first couple of months of launch to then gear up i don't think they should have this shortcut gear system that enables you to just turn up do lfr walk afk just, oh, do i harass this dude do i harass him again or within a let's see what he's saying oh oh he's on me he wants to go. Oh, we, we're gonna go ham. Let's go ham. Fuck it. Put this on yourself, bro. Oh, he's gonna shut him end. Oh, fuck. That hurts so much. Sorry, bruh. I was generally gonna leave you alone. But... Now I'm gonna have to kill your escort quest. Sorry, bruh. He's gonna be pissed, but... Dude shouldn't attack me! Shouldn't attack me! I was quite happily running by, and he dotted me up fully, so... Sorry, bruh. Shadow Priest hurt though, by the looks of it. Well, it's the heals as well. The heals kind of suck. Like he was getting like 1k heals from that, by the looks of it. Quite ridiculous, really, because he got like 3k health. But no, yeah, I feel like, yeah, Blizzard just kind of... But I don't think Blizzard really care about their game all too much anymore, because they're making so much money from it. What they should do is bring back, like, legacy servers for every single expansion I feel. I know it'd spread the players out a lot, but that's another thing that kind of pisses me off about Warcraft now is that like um obviously being an RPG you want to be able to interact with people that you can actually interact with. And I'm not gonna get onto a Russian rant here, but my the thing that kind of pisses me off is that I'll be in whatever city and I can be more than happy to like give some dude gold or whatever you know what I mean like I, I want to be able to openly trade with people in my city uh, whereas you can't do that because obviously they've got to be from the same realm but they've made it so the cities are all cross realmed because of the because of the sharding so it's it seems retarded to me that they'd put a load of people in the same city that admittedly when you first log on, on I imagine you'd be like oh fuck a load of people People still play this game. Um, but at the same time, it's like, if you can't, there's an orc in there. Um, like, at the same time, you should be able to interact with people on your realm, I feel. This guy's like the opposite to the go guy. There were two. We got this. Okay, bye. I can't see any orcs. So, I think that's the biggest shame, really, to be honest. Like, they should just bring out. Like, it just pisses me off that I can't even trade with people in my main city. They should have kept the cities separate from the start. 
which it, it originally was when they did the cross round thing they were actually keep it is separate but oh. I don't know where these orcs are at I don't think I'm gonna be able to find them and kill them though I feel like they're gonna fuck me up they're probably doing that pass so much and the priest is probably gonna come back in for a run clean up this shit and be on my way I think I do realize it's also gone over guys I do apologize I might end this episode here actually and um, we got to level 30 but I, I just want to finish off in these kind of caves so now I'm gonna I'm you guys are in for a treat today I tell you you can have a extra long episode of me fucking around in Azeroth while I uh, pick up all this shit Oh, there's the orc. Oh wait, it's a human warlock. No, I feel like there is going to be probably an orc around here. But they're not around here, by the looks of it. Right, that was easy enough. Oh, wrong button. I'm not really sure. Oh, got any talent as well. Hmm. Gonna have to be Shimmer, innit? Gonna have to be Shimmer. What Shimmer does is reduces. Uh, well, it means that I can teleport further. I can. That's kind. Of, uh, I can blink further, and I also get two blinks. And it also actually. Um, I'm not sure. Either way, it's, have a read, guys. Shimmer shit so you can blink twice and it also blinks you in the direction you're facing rather than the way you're running quite nice the norm and in this last quest getting a fuck ton of gold yeah that can go we're good right then guys so that's the now oh wrong button that's gonna wrap up this episode. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you in on catch you in on the next one. Take it easy. Teach me how to pound. Teach me. Teach me how to pound. Teach me how to pound. Teach me. Teach me how to pound. Teach me how to pound. Teach me. Teach me how to pound. Teach me how to pound. Teach me. Teach me how to pound. Teach me how to. Teach me how to. Teach me how to pound.